Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, Asus ROG phone is here, and this thing looks killer. First off, I wanna thank my buddy SuperSat for helping out me get content on this device so I can share with you. Definitely go out and check out his video on the ROG phone. He got some real hands-on on it, so the link will be down below. Now, let's talk about this phone. This thing looks like a beast. It is a six-inch device. It's got a glass back. It has that gamer-centric look, and of course, it's got the ROG logo on the back of the device that lights up yes it is customizable you can go ahead and change the color the lighting to fit your style which is great so as a gamer that makes a lot of sense now it's powered by the qualcomm snapdragon 845 processor we know that's a gaming processor right now for mobile but this thing is clocked at 2.96 gigahertz which means it's one of the fastest actually the fastest clock speed of an 845 because they worked with qualcomm on that and it's a beast with eight gigs of RAM on there, storage is either 128 or 512, so you can get a lot of storage. Now, there is no micro SD card expansion, but if you get in the 512 version, then you're pretty much solid safe there. Dual SIM device, it's also got Wi-Fi 802, uh, 802.11ad, which is the newest spec Wi-Fi because of course that Snapdragon 845 processor as well. So this thing is a healing gaming beast. Now, in terms of what you get here hardware-wise and what you also get with this device, you've got a USB port on the bottom, headphone jack, uh, which is fantastic. You've also got two extra USB ports at, on basically on the left-hand side. So when you're holding it in landscape mode, you can actually charge your device without actually uh, you know, tampering with your gameplay session. But it also is for the aero cooler dock that comes with it in the packaging that allows you to give, that gives you extra cooling in this device. That dock is pretty cool because of course it works with the vapor chambers, which is built in to give you some really nice cooling. But when you're gaming and, and you're doing a lot of intense gaming and game streaming, you want to use that aero cooler dock, which also lights up as well. And you can change the fan speed there. So it's, and it's got that PC customization that PC gamers know and love quite well, and that's pretty good. Now, uh, the other thing too is they've got a tap sensitive area on the top, basically allowing you to map buttons there as well. So it's kind of like your L and R, which again, in gaming, if you game on a PC or even a, a gaming console, you want to have, of course, those triggers and you have that map and you can map it. It's actually pretty cool. You can match, map various buttons there on this device. Now, in terms of other accessories you get with this, you've also got a mobile gaming dock. You can dock it and use it on your PC so you can actually customize the buttons and also do some gameplay on there as well. You've got, of course, a, a flip view dock, which is basically a second screen that allows you, that helps a lot when you're streaming your gameplay sessions. If you doing a streaming session with it and it's pretty nice so you've got a second screen almost like a, a ds if you will and then you've got the gamepad dock gives you your physical buttons on your device so that also is pretty cool now it's got a squeezy feature so when you squeeze it you know uh, kind of like the pixel 2 that actually shuts off notification takes you into the gaming xmo which of course to cut off a notification and of course takes you into of course better performance for gaming which is nice now speaking of that display as you saw it is a 1080p hdr display it is also an oled display that has a 90 hertz refresh rate now that's pretty good now granted some of you say well the razor phone has a 120 hertz but this is an oled display not an lcd display and that means you're getting really fast refresh rates and one millisecond response time according to asus so your gameplay looks smooth and this thing runs butter smooth it is the kind of stuff that gamers want and i have to say that it looks pretty pretty good now it's packed with a 4000 milliamp battery so you're expecting to get according to asus seven hours of gameplay session on this device which is pretty nice especially when you're playing on wi-fi and lte uh, but of course when you're using it as a phone you're going to get some really long battery life it's got a dual camera setup at the back um, sorry, it's got a camera set at the back, um, but it also has a fingerprint sensor that's kind of slightly angulated, and uh, I think that works best in landscape mode instead of a portrait, but we'll have to see how that actually works in real life. And a front-facing camera, which uh, of course is eight megapixels. Now the cameras are set to match what we find in the Zen Phone 5. We haven't tried that out yet, so we'll see how it works. You also have dual front fine speakers, so you're getting some really nice, loud audio. Overall, this thing looks like a beast. As a gamer, I'm excited to see it, so hopefully it pans out well but let me know your thoughts on the asus rog phone it looks like a beast it looks like something that wolverine would love to use i know i threw my t-shirt in there but i am excited to see it so i would love to hear from you guys any questions any comments let me know otherwise don't forget to like and share this video favorite this video subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment